So today in the museum we're looking at the Poston ACAC gun. It's a very, very impressive piece of equipment. I bought this a long time ago. Uh, it has four 20 millimeter cannons. That's them there. Um, the drum there holds 60 rounds of ammunition. Uh, you have one crew member sitting inside. So he sits in there. And overhead you have a sight called a spider sight. It's called a spider sight because it actually looks like a big spider's web. And uh, you yeah, walk along shooting at the target with that there. Um, I always say if you're qualified with an Xbox or a PlayStation, um, you'll get to use this very, very simple. That's your controllers there. So one to the right or left. Are, if you want to fire the bottom trigger, if you want to fire the top trigger, it's up on top. If you want to go up, well, you're going up and down. And when you're working this machine, the whole top of it actually closes in. So you become enclosed inside it. Like that there. So you just get an idea. Now to give you an idea what a 20 millimeter uh, round looks like, you know, the British Rifle of World War one of World War II is taking a 303 round. So that's a 303 round there. Uh, a 50 caliber machine gun or a Barrett 50 that are, is being used today um, by snipers uses this one here. And a 20 millimeter round, that's a 20 millimeter round. It's a serious piece of kit. You really, really, really do not want to be on the end of the business end of this machine. It gives you a very, very bad hair day. But this was invented by the Canadians for the British uh, to shoot down those V1 flying uh, bombs coming over from France over to England. Uh, the problem with this was, by the time this landed in England at the end of uh, 44, uh, D-Day had happened on the 6th of June 44. So by the time this had landed in England, they actually, Americans, the Canadians, the British, uh, had actually overrun all the V1 sites 